Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today not only do we have Calvin Johnson but you guys can see we also have got Antonio Camardi on the team. It seems like you guys wanted me to get gameplay with both of them so I picked up Crow too. But as you guys can see, we do have Antonio Camardi. Now, I do want to mention, I have Lockdown completely maxed out. Also, have John Madden with plus one speed. Uh, Sprinter maxed out. Also, I'm using John Madden with plus two to passing for Calvin and plus two to uh, pass defense for Antonio Camardi. So, you guys see 99 speed, 98 excel, 96 agility, 99 jumping, 97 player rank, but he has 99 man zone and 99 press. So... He should be incredible, 99 jumping too, and a 50 block shot, which isn't crazy, but you know, it's it's Byron Jones, so yeah, and he also has 50 hit power. And by that, of course, I mean the same block shit as Byron Jones, but of course, with Zone Hawk for his X Factor, Tier 1 Universal Coverage, Tier 2 Acrobat Lurker, and I decided I'd pick Artist because you guys can see in terms of his actual abilities, like for a fourth one, there's really nothing else to go with. It could go with like Jukebox, I guess, but I decided to go with Pick Artist. And then, of course, we have Calvin Johnson, which you guys probably saw his stats on my video earlier today. But just take a look at the front of the card. Absolutely incredible. Also, his carrying is insane. Uh, he has a 90 carrying, which is just crazy. Also has a 60 run block. He does have an 89 spin, 84 juke move. And yes, he does get human joystick, of course, because he has 95 agility. So I'm a streak specialist in post elite red zone threat because I just want to see him awesome in people. And, of course, human joystick. So with that being said, let's get into the gameplay. Looking to take your game of Madden 20 to another level? Check out Hot Route Tips and get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So that is my opponent's team. He has Ryan Chazier, Lamar Jackson, and also CD Lamb. So he's got a really beastly wide receiver. All right, so we're starting off on the defensive side of things. So let's see if Crow can come out here and make some plays. Now, you guys can see he does have Lamar Jackson, so we obviously have to watch out for him. Got to keep quarterback spice it up. And Cromarty is coming up with a pick on the first play. Antonio Cromarty, literally on the very first play of the game, is coming away with an interception. That is exactly what we like to see. Now, let's see if we can get Calvin. His first TD on the first drive. That'd be nice, as it looks like he probably should be open. Fred Warner's not able to get there. Apparently, Calvin couldn't get his feet down. That definitely should have been a catch there, but Calvin just couldn't get his feet in bounds. And I feel like we might beat him over the top with Calvin down the field. Are we going to beat him? It looks like probably not, but I'm still going to try it. Calvin Johnson getting behind the defense for the TD. So 17 seconds into the game, we already have an interception for Camardi and a TD for Calvin. You absolutely love to see it again. Quarterback spy, Julius Pepper is the absolute goat this year when it comes to quarterback spies. I'm really worried about CeeDee Lamb because although I was kind of kidding about him having a super OP wide receiver to be a Calvin in this game, CD is really good. Now, I'd imagine that he's probably not going to target Antonio Camari while he has the big red X underneath him. I would definitely recommend staying away from him. So I expect him to pass a lot to the left. And to be honest with you guys, depending on what Cromartie does in this game, I actually may keep him because I like having him and I like having uh, Byron Jones as well. And I think I'll keep Dion, but I might sell someone else. I feel like Crow is just a really, really good corner and also his height definitely helps. I believe he's 6'2", I want to say. So that definitely helps out his value as that should be an interception for me. And I feel like Crow was actually coming down to make a play on that as I'm going to try and return this for a touchdown maybe with Willis. And we're going to be down at the 42. I feel like Calvin should be open on the out route, which it looks like he is going to be open. I want to take advantage of human joystick. So let me see if I can get Calvin open. Like, oh, he's pressing Calvin. Oh, that is a rookie move right there. I'm putting Calvin on his streak here, and let's just see if he can beat. Oh, you know what? It's one-on-one. -on -one. Let's just try it. Calvin Johnson, end zone, interception. By the way, in case you guys are new to my gameplays and you don't know, 
yeah, we're literally going to throw to Calvin every single play. So be ready for that. It doesn't matter who else is open. Calvin's getting the ball. I really wanted to chuck it up and see if he could come down and just moss Dion there. Unfortunately, we did not get a good animation for us, and Dion got an interception as it looks like we got some pass rush coming in, and Byron, great play. The entire secondary has been locking this guy up, except for that one pass that he had to C.D. Lamb. Aside from that, he has one completion for 19 yards, I want to say, and two interceptions, so we're playing pretty dang good. Third and 11 here again, we have our quarterback spice it up, and again, he goes to another corner route. So fourth and seven, I have a pretty good feeling this guy is once again going to try to throw like a corner route over here to the left side, so I just switched Crow and Byron Jones, and he didn't, but we get the sack that is a linebacker over there on calvin johnson i hope he realizes that because i'm still gonna throw it right at his head and calvin's gonna snag it oh and by the way trust me i saw him coming for the ball there but i still didn't care it's calvin johnson he's an absolute beast as we're down to the 19 here it looks like uh crap calvin's not gonna be open i'm just gonna scramble with lamar try and juke him out which we did and of course we fumbled the football try to have a little bit of fun there and warren sap with the recovery and a stiff arm? Are you kidding me? I tried to have a bit of fun there and scramble with Lamar Jackson, and I just got stiff-armed by Warren Sapp. Are you serious? Good tackle by Crow and Troy P. That was pretty funny, but I think I'm going to keep Crow over here on the left side because I feel like he keeps trying to throw to the left as we have just got some nasty pressure. Third and 14. This guy has really not had much success out here on the offensive side of things, except for like those couple corner routes, but since then... Been basically locked down as once again, I'm gonna watch out for that corner. He goes over the middle and that was a good throw. I really feel like he's just not gonna target Cromarty anymore because he's a little bit afraid of him. And I really just want him to throw at Crow a couple more times this game. Come on, someone get a sack. Someone get a sack or a pick. Ryan Shazier, user pick. And this mate, oh, I wish that crow was here. I'm going to actually just oop it back there. I say oop. I mean, I've been playing too much too. Okay. We're going to try and just pick six this year with Byron Jones on the lateral. So we got a pick six there. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't to Cromarty, which I really wish that crow was there, not Byron, because it would have been nice to get a little lateral pick six with him as LT is coming in, and that's a bad pass. So he has four completions and three interceptions so far, even with me only pass rushing three people because every single play I've been putting peppers in a quarter back spy we're still getting some pretty good pressure and it seems like my cornerbacks are just completely shutting him down really uh crow's right there so not to defend that get another sack again another third and long situation and this time he's gonna go to the run game which that was actually a pretty solid run there from ap fourth down though let's see what he's gonna go to and it looks like he's going to the ground so i'm definitely looking to go to calvin here let's see if i can get him open oh, tony is just so wide open like i have to throw that i love how i said i wasn't going to target anyone else but calvin johnson but tony was so wide open I'm really hoping that my opponent doesn't rage quit this game because I really want to see what else Calvin can do, but you guys can see Crow has been locked down. So since I switched them, and now that Byron's over there on the right side, he tries to chuck up a streak where Crow would have been and potentially could have gotten an interception as good tackle for Marty. So now Lawrence Taylor is actually enraged here, so this is not going to be good for my opponent. He has X-Factor activated, and I'm hoping he just makes like a bad throw or just chucks up a streak over to Crow's side, which it looks like he's probably not going to. Watch out over the middle, and again, he's throwing the right side. Now I'm going to switch them back. So I don't know if this guy is purposely just not throwing to Cromartie's side or for some reason now he just decided that he likes to throw the right side a lot but he just will not throw over to the left so I switched him back so with only 30 seconds left he continues to run the ball here and that is a nice tackle from Vaughn now only 20 seconds and he definitely could have called a timeout there but he decided not to and Crow actually did let up a catch there so with 14 seconds left let's see what he's gonna go to go to the end zone and Sean Taylor gets the pick which Crow was actually right there and I was going to try to return that. So I'm going to actually do something that I never do here. I'm coming out five wide, and I'm going to try to screen this over to Calvin Johnson and use that human joystick, see what we can do here. Good juke, and I'm going to call one last time out here. So obviously, with us being at the 30-yard line here, this has to just be a chuck up. So let's just see if Calvin can come down with this. We'll just see, I guess, just test his jump ball abilities really one-on-one -on -one with Deion Sanders no safety help and incomplete now the good news is that we do start off the second half with the ball you guys can see though we did get sacked on first down so that's not good but I'm gonna try to go to Calvin here see if I can fit the ball in hopefully just doesn't use around him which it looks like he didn't and that should be an easy catch for Calvin good 
the catch. So third down and eight, Calvin is actually not in on this play, so I guess we're just gonna throw it to whoever's open, which is Michael Irvin, easily pick up that first down there. So we're at the 36, second and one, but again, I'm really looking to go to a deep shot. Oh, Calvin might have him beat down the sidelines. Calvin Johnson, one on one. And again, it's picked. I've really been trying to show off his jump ball ability to you guys, but I mean, the passes are getting intercepted. Maybe it's just like the bad animations, I guess, but it's not even like a terrible throw because I've made that exact throw with other wide receivers and they moss people. And especially with Calvin Johnson being six foot five with the jumping that he has and everything, I definitely expected him to come down with that over Xavier McKinney. Unfortunately, he got intercepted. I'm really hoping that he throws to Crow. I have Crow over there ready to stop like any sort of corner routes or anything, and it looks like we get the sack again. Two more things I want to happen before the end of this gameplay. Another interception by Cromarty, and I would love for another TD for Calvin Johnson as I'm gonna send Crow at him here, see if we can get a hit, which we do get a hit there. Third down and 11, and I just got stuck on a defensive lineman. This is not good. I'm usering on Aaron Donald, but thankfully we get some pressure. This man really just ran a fake punt on me. Are you kidding me? This man really just tried to hit me with a fake punt there. That is pretty hilarious. Once again, gonna be looking to go to Calvin though, deep down the field. I think we may have him beat again. Calvin Johnson, another touchdown. It looks like my opponent is gonna be quitting this game. You guys see Calvin, I think has 169 yards. I'm pretty sure that just said. But you guys can see my opponent did decide to leave the game after that. But Calvin Johnson, I believe had six catches for 169 yards. And I wanna say two TDs in that game. And Antonio Camardi had an interception on literally the first play of the game, but then after that, he just really didn't get targeted, did have a couple of tackles in there as well, but overall seemed pretty locked down. So I think I'm going to keep Grow. I'm definitely keeping Calvin Johnson, but with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. Make sure you guys turn the notification bell on, because we're about to be getting a bunch of Madden 21 news in terms of actual Madden 20 content. Well... We have power expansions, and that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.